Hey everybody, welcome back and happy Saturday. Okay guys, so lots to talk about, lots to discuss. It looks like, God, there's always drama when it comes to the Toms of Vanderpump Rules, isn't there? Like it just, it's like the, it, just a gift that just does not stop giving. And here we go. It's like, God, I feel like I can't even keep up with them, but I can't keep up with them because it's not normal. Or maybe it is. Uh, I don't know. Pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I am breaking out, you guys. Like, a, like... Oh, here we go. <laughs> We do it. All right, guys, this is where we're starting right here. Now, thank you to Reality Blurb. It looks like Tom Sandoval's girlfriend, Victoria Lee Robinson, is slamming Rachel, Raquel, Rocky, whatever you want to call her, Levis on Instagram after seeing her post about Jax Taylor seeking treatment for his own mental health struggles, which I heard that Jax Taylor went to rehab and not to a mental health facility. But then we also heard that Rachel went to a spa and not a mental health facility. So who actually knows? And a comment shared on Instagram, Victoria, who was first spotted with Tom Sandoval in December of 2023, lashed out at his former mistress, labeling Raquel as gross, as she suggested that her post about Jax was made in an effort to stay relevant. Girl leaves Vanderpump Rules, ruins people's lives, but then lives and breeds Vanderpump Rules after. Still continues to ruin people's lives. That's what she wrote in her comment, which was reshared by a glorified gossip girl on Instagram. If you were genuine, you would reach out on a personal level, but instead you post it for attention and relevance. Now, as Vanderpump Rules fans may have seen, Raquel took to Instagram earlier this week after Jax's rep confirmed that he would be seeking treatment and said that she hoped he would receive more support than she did when she entered a mental health program in April of 2023. Also, it's so obvious that you had your publicist react or reach out to TMZ for a pity party and attention. You're gross, is what she said. Oh, God. In her Instagram post, Raquel addressed Jax directly, telling her former co-star, I am deeply saddened to hear of Jax's mental health struggles, and I wholeheartedly support his decision to seek treatment. And she was then accused of making the message about herself as she signaled the backlash and rumors that she faced during her time at the Meadows. I pray this news is met with the open-mindedness that mine lacked. As I face mockery and accusations of simply being in a spa, I hope he finds the healing that I did through my journey. The situation highlights you know, the urgent need for mental health care and accessible treatment for reality TV stars. But it was in a statement to TMZ earlier this week that Jax's rep confirmed his efforts to get to a better place. They said, Jax has always been candid about his mental health struggles, especially during the past few months on his podcast. He has made the decision to seek inpatient treatment. This is a particularly sensitive time for him and his family. And they asked for privacy and respect until he is ready to speak more on the matter. Well, again, I saw, and I cannot confirm this, but it's like one of those things, like if you repeat it, are you putting it out there in the atmosphere and you're starting a rumor? Is repeating a rumor just as bad as starting a rumor? Well, I didn't start it, but I am repeating it. Um, I saw where some people were saying that he is not in a mental health treatment facility. He's actually, in fact, in a rehab, a rehabilitation center. Who knows? I don't know that for a fact. Could I see both? Yeah, 100%. I could see him going to rehab. I could see him going to a mental health facility. I don't feel like either one of them's far-fetched here. But wait. It continues on. Which also... I found the timing to be a little odd. With him going into a mental health facility right when they started filming. I'm like... Why does it feel like... This is storyline focused, even though he does have mental health struggles. Like I've seen him. The guy is definitely struggling. Yeah. Timing is suspicious. 
but maybe they could say that anytime. I don't know. Back to it. Let's go over to the Toms, shall we? Oh, Tom Shortsy, Shortsy, Shortsy. This guy. Let me just go ahead and bring up this little photo here because it looks like Tom Shortsy has made the decision to move on. Hold on. So things have been pretty quiet for Tom Short since the conclusion of Vanderpump Rules season 11. However, the reality star and restaurant owner recently sparked rumors that he may be moving in with his best friend, Tom Sandoval, after previously expressing doubt about doing so. Now, as fans know, this news comes months after it was announced that there would be a pause before filming begins for season 12 of Vanderpump Rules, but the network made the decision as a way to give the cast a bit of breathing room from each other. However, the Toms, they have a lot in common. They share businesses. So moving in together for the time being could maybe make sense. I don't know. The rumors about Tom Schwartz moving in with his controversial best friend arose due to a post he made on his Instagram stories. The same post that you see right now. As you can see from the screenshot, he shared that he's packing for a move and said onwards and upwards. Hmm. Now, of course, the post didn't mention anything about where he was moving to or if he will be living with the other Tom. However, fans did speculate that this is probably the case, as they have discussed it on the show before. And according to Bravo, he previously turned down the idea of living with his co-star. However, now it seems maybe he had a change of heart during the most recent reunion, saying, I think I'm ready to commit. Tom also had this to say during the reunion about potentially moving. I go back and forth because it's a beautiful home and I miss having a backyard, but I have some reservations about living there just given the history. But during the reunion, Lisa Vanderpump chimed in by saying, why do you want to live together? You're grownups, for goodness sake. Like, you do that when you're 20. And to that, Tom said that it was a cost-cutting measure due to all of the money that he had previously spent. He said, I put a hundred grand into rent in the past two years, and I feel so salty about that without building any equity. So Tom's long-term goal is to buy a house in Minnesota, which is his home state. He said, that's the dream. We're talking about long-term. I don't know if I want to live there, but hopefully I'm successful enough to have a cool lake cabin in Minnesota. Um, what in the fucking shit is going on? Can I tell you? Let me just break this down for you. Just like I think that Jax Taylor going into a mental health facility right now seems like a very convenient move for storyline and everything else. I think that this particular move also could seem like it would be very calculated. You're you're going to be throwing away a lot more than $100,000 if you move in with Tom Sandoval. I think he wanted $6,000 a month or something like that. Something just ridiculous. Ridiculous. But then maybe that's an investment because now we have a storyline for the show. Now we have them living together. Now we have more interest in that. What is that dynamic like now that Ariana moved out? Maybe he moves into Ariana's old room. That gets even more weird. Just becomes more incestuous. Just like where Lala moved into Stassi's old room. Like I can see the thought process. But, but, I want to hear what you guys think. Guys, pop off in the comment section, please. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. And I think that's pretty much it. I got more to do, more videos to cover, TikToks, polls, the whole shebang. But I'll be doing it, and it'll all be coming today. And then I'm driving to a hurricane tomorrow. Great. Mm. Love you. Bye.